Hey, what's up, Gamers? Gamers, Mystic. As you all know, or have probably heard, one of the first rules of Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club. Well, being as I've always been kind of light and airy, where certain rules are applied, especially stupid rules, I don't care. I'm going to talk about Fight Club anyway. This very, uh... <laughs> Very flashily dressed young beast man, here is Yauk. Yauk is going to be the one that gives you the quest to go out to Ariel Shore and enter the Fight Club instance and fight him and his brother, or his cousin Adrock, or his brother, or whoever he is, and his other brother Daryl. I can't remember the guy's name right now, so I'm just going to call him Daryl. His other brother Daryl, who is a balance and ice caster. These guys. Bear mentioning because they are currently the most cheating bosses available in Wizard 101. These guys make Darkmoor look like Sunday school. They really do. Oh my, oh my goodness. I'm telling you. The cheats are terrible. Of course, if you're watching this video now, you are probably frustrated with Fight Club and you already know these things. You already know they're cheating bosses. I don't have to really go on about this. Let's get to the point. I, I heard some clapping just now. Yes. Okay. I'm going to get to the point. I am. The point is, you guys need a way to more easily beat these Fight Club bosses because they are the way they are. And I've heard numerous reports of people taking two and three and four hours at the Fight Club fight because the cheats are so bad. Let's go ahead now. Let's shave some of that time down. The first time that I did Fight Club, it took about two hours, maybe two hours and 15 minutes, something like that. I died like seven or eight times. And at the end of it, I got that stupid brass monkey statue. <laughs> Those of you who follow me on social media and or watch my YouTube videos know how I felt about that with the whole dumping monkey video. For more information on that, refer to the link that's in this description for the dumping monkey video or just go to my channel and look. I'm sure you'll find it. It's not that hard to find. I fought those Fight Club bosses for two hours plus and got a Brass Monkey statue as my only drop and was, needless to say, a little bit aggravated by that. So I responded. But back to the story here. Back to what to do with Yauk and Adrock and Daryl. Okay. This is, in my mind, the best team setup and the best spell casting strategy to use bar none. I've heard several strategies so far, and some of them seem like they're okay, but they're only okay because the person tells me the strategy, and they said, oh, and after three hours, we finally beat him. And I'm like, wait, what? Three hours? What? And that's three hours with, with a, a large, large chance that you're not going to get anything good dropped. A large chance. Okay, so we've got to cut this time down. This is how we're going to do it. <clears throat> Your team, if you can get them, this is the absolute best, and you can deviate from this. But the more you deviate, the more time it's going to take to run this fight. Fight Club consists of three fights. And the last one is all three of the, the bosses or brothers or cousins or mothers, the mothers, cousins, sisters or brothers or whatever they are all together. That's the hard one. The first two are all one boss versus all of you fights. Not so bad. In the final fight, you're going to want optimally, if you, can, if you have them, if you can get them, great. Two lives, two healers. If you can, and it would be really, really great, these healers, at least one, if not both, should be jade geared. What the healer's job is going to be, other than healing, is they're going to stack up on either spirit traps or elemental traps, depending on what school your hitters are. And they're going to trap for the hitters on turns when the hitters have to blade, or on turns when the hitters have to cast, or on turns where the hitters don't happen to have a trap. Because you must, you must, must, must trap Adrock every single time. If you don't, he'll summon up the beats whose sole job it is to, is to sacrifice themselves to kill one of you. And they will. And they will. That's your second goal in the battle. To not die at all if you can possibly do it. If you die and you come back, all the bosses suddenly fill up 14 pips, you know, they've all got seven power pips, and they're ready to go. They're ready to use them. They've got those 14 power pips. If they've got a shadow pip, goodness help you, because, well, they will blast you. 
Once you start dying, once you start the dying cycle against these bosses, it's really hard to get out of it. When you come, if you die and come back, they cast up that 100% accuracy fail on you with a stun, with about half your life gone. And if you can't cast, then the beats come up and they hit you again. So you're, you're suddenly your healers are fighting to keep the team going. That's why you want at least one jade, preferably two jade healers, lifes. Because they are going to do the trapping and they are going to do the healing. They're going to support and heal. They're going to make sure that Aedroc is never without a trap on his turn. And they're going to alternate healing because these bosses, these bosses will hit you hard. We're not talking about no 800 po life points life hit or 1200 points life hit. I've been hit for 14,000 life by one of these guys. They will hit you hard. Your healers need to be ready. Not both of you healing on the not both of the healers healing the same turn, but alternately one saving their pips by doing trapping, and one's doing the healing of the whole team. Make sure you're using AOE heals as much as possible. You know, mix a few single heals in there, but as much as possible, you're doing AOE heals and healing the entire team up as often as you can. Pigsy, if you have it, is a godsend for this. Use Pigsy if you have it. Beautiful, beautiful spell. I cannot sing its praises any higher. My main healer, thank you, Orkin, for your mighty healingness. <laughs> I'll plug you right now. Has Pigsy, and that thing is a wonder. It has done so much to keep teams alive, it is unreal. If you have two Jade healers, you're pretty much going to be in there because you won't be able to do too much wrong. I won't say no wrong because, again, these guys are the worst cheaters ever. But you won't be able to do too much wrong. If you've got two healers, beautiful. Make sure one's doing the trapping while one's doing the healing. Make sure at least every turn that if somebody's hurt, there's some healing being done and that Aedroc is being trapped every single turn. The hitters. Okay, the bosses that are in Fight Club every single time are the same. They don't change schools. They don't change anything. You have Aedroc, who's a storm. You have Yalk who is, I believe, a death, and you have their other brother, Daryl, who is a balance and ice. The schools never change. So for hitters, I would highly suggest, if you can do it, if you're a player who has these schools of characters all ready to go, use them. I would say, use two fires. Fires are going to boost against ice, and they're going to save you. Oh, I went in here accidentally. That's all right. Oop. Fires are going to boost against ice, and they're going to save you a lot of time and trouble. If you have to have a storm, or if you have to have a death, or a balance, or whatever other school, have them. I'm just giving you the optimal schools and attacks. You can vary from it. You can vary from this plan, of course. I mean, some of you will have to. Some of you don't have fires. Fine. You can vary from this plan. Just be warned that the more you vary from this formula, the longer the battle will take. In other words, if you only have one healer who's a jade, okay, that's fine. You know, your other healer isn't a jade, that's all right. It just gives you some room to play. This is the absolute best you can do. And you can vary from it a little bit, but the further you vary from it, the worse time you're going to have. It's just as simple as that. <clears throat> sure, some of you only have a death main. Some of you only have a balance main. Some of you only have a ice main, you know, whatever the case. If you can have your other hitter be a fire or at least a storm, you'll do all right. You hitters, you're going to be blading on the turns when your support has a trap to put on a drop. You're going to be fainting very minimally. You can put the, put up the first faint for free. The second one costs you and it gets worse after that. So use your faint sparingly. But while your support has traps to put up and they're saving their pips for heals, you're going to be putting up blades. You're going to be waiting for those all-important shadow pips. And you're going to be doing as much as humanly possible AOE hits. That means bugs. That means sirens. If you have to and you have nothing better, that means Stormlord. Hit as much damage as you can. Use your pips to the maximum damage that you can get off these guys. You really... That's really the key here. Staying alive, well, I mean, really, uh, to be honest, that's the key of all these battles, but especially with this one. Do as much damage as you can while taking as little damage as you can. It's just, it's just as simple as that, really, to be honest. So you're going to be doing AoE hitting. Your healers, as much as possible, are going to be doing AoE healing. 
and your healers. Oh, come on, grab that. Ether, that's why I'm here. Your healers aren't going to be healing on the same turn unless there's some kind of an emergency because one of them is going to be trapping a drop. If for some reason neither one of your healers have a trap, hit her. Make sure you put that on a drop. That is where most of these battles start failing is whenever you don't trap a drop and he gets the beats up. Because the beats, well, they beat you. That's what they do. So as long as you coordinate as a team, and if you happen to have that combination of two Jaded Lives and two Fires, you will be golden. That's the perfect team for Fight Club. Hopefully, what I've told you here will help you out. I, I don't see why it wouldn't. <laughs> because honestly, that's the combination that I've seen that would work best. I personally am a Storm. I don't have a Max Fire. But we while well, we have done this with two Storms and Life and such like that, it took hours. Guys, hopefully this guide will help you out. If you haven't figured it out for yourself, <laughs> some of you are smart, smart guys, and you know all this stuff already. I don't even know if you What the hell am I listening to this video for? <laughs> Why? Well, I'm just doing what I can to help you out and make this a little less painful. I just about guarantee you they're going to nerf this fight at one point or another because it's ridiculously hard, especially given the drops that you don't get. Anyhow, I've done my part, done the best I could. Hopefully this helps you out with the strategy, with the classes that you need, and you can run this and get at least something out of these guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button a good heart, smash as well, subscribe, share, yell my name to everybody you know, because I would love to see more of you around here. If you want to hang out with me live, I stream on Twitch pretty much every evening in the world, usually starting around 9.30 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. You are more than welcome to show up. A lot of times I'll, I'll have people who are viewing come into the battles with me, you know, maybe they're doing some farming, maybe they just have an interest in doing it. Maybe they're there for the challenge. Maybe they're there just to hang out, whatever the case. You are always welcome to come. We would love to have you here. It's a really, really friendly group. Until, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted by that. Wait a Until next time, this is Skeletal Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace.